Thanks for tuning in. My name is Ed Schofield with Johnson Screens. We're the suppliers of the New Well Chemical product line. Today we're going to describe the usage of the D-Scale Right New Well 100 and D-Scale Plus New Well 110 acid products used to clean your domestic or small diameter wells. Now you may be asking, how do I know if I need to acidize my well? The primary reason you would consider using acid to clean your well is diminished production. However, you would first want to verify that there are no mechanical problems with the pump or any known pump failure. Once you know the pump is okay, you can contact your distributor to purchase the new well chemicals. It's likely you'll need to use them to remove the calcium carbonate or other mineral scales that have built up in the well. These lead to the plugging of the screen at the bottom of the well. Okay, first things first. Before beginning any chemical product application, it's strongly recommended that you wear goggles or a face shield and safety glasses to protect your eyes. You should also wear impermeable waterproof protective gloves and clothing that can be disposed of when you're done, in case of any spills. If in doubt, check the product SDS on our website for the recommended PPE equipment. Before you begin, know your surroundings. There can be some off-gassing of the mineral scales when it encounters the acid, so make sure you have sufficient ventilation, especially if you have an enclosed pump house. You'll need to make sure the acid solution does not enter the main transmission line to the house or to the structure. For this reason, you should disconnect the transmission line prior to acidizing the well. You may wish to remove the pump, if possible, and physically clean to the bottom of the well prior to adding the acid. This will ensure that you've got the well bore cleaned of any debris prior to adding the acid to the well. If you do pull the pump, it's a good time to check the pump in its condition. For most small domestic wells, D-Scale Right New Well 100 pellets are preferred in a residential setting. D-Scale Plus New Well 110 granular acid is typically used in wells that are larger and require more acid to clean. New Well 100 pellets can be dropped directly into the well, but we recommend that they are mixed with a small amount of water to help them sink to the bottom of the well. Dry pellets can get stuck up against the sides of the well casing or caught up in the pump if it hasn't been removed. Adding the pellets to the water will create an acid solution that will help treat the sides of the well on the way down. New Well 110 must be mixed and fully dissolved in water prior to adding it to the well. This requires larger tanks at the top of the well for mixing the solution before pumping it down the well, which is generally not a problem in a 6 inch or 8 inch diameter well with a long screen section. But it might be more than a small well owner has room for. Once you've set up and are ready to add the acid, please follow the directions on the container and mix per instructions. Do not over-treat the well. More acid is not always better. Please note the New Well 100 tablets slowly dissolve as they sink and will act in a more time-release manner, whereas the New Well 110 powder will react much more quickly down hole. Once you've completed the mixing of the acid solution on the surface, it can be added to the well. New Well 100 tablets are poured in over the top of the well. The New Well 110 solution is generally fed into the well using a trimming pipe and placed evenly across the screen section. The acid solution should be agitated to cover the widest possible area and to accelerate the breakup of the encrusting material. This can be done using a brush or a surge block by pumping the well and feeding the treated water back into the top of the well or by adding additional water into the well to wash the solution into the aquifer surrounding the screen. The acid solution should be allowed to stay in the well for 12 to 24 hours. At this point, the water should be pumped out of the well. Discharge the acid solution from the well, neutralize on the surface with neutralizer New Well 600 and dispose in accordance with the appropriate regulations. It is recommended you have pH paper handy to ensure the returning well water is free of any acid and is back as close as possible to the pH of 7 before reconnecting the pump back to the house transmission line. D-Scale Right New Well 100 includes an acid-based indicator that can be used to monitor the acid neutralization. 
When it is first mixed with water, it turns a purple or dark red color. As it dissolves the incrustations, the solution turns light red or orange. As the solution weakens, it will turn into a yellow color, indicating it's ready for removal. While this happens in most applications, there are some well conditions that may very well alter these color changes, so it is best to monitor the acid strength with a pH test. Although there is no one absolute way to know that your well is completely cleaned after a single treatment, several indicators of success are improved production, reduced foul smell or color, and cleaner water with less turbidity. Returning the well back to its normal operation is the single best indicator as to whether a second treatment is needed or not. Thank you for watching our video on D-Scale Right New Well 100 and D-Scale Plus New Well 110 acid products. If you have additional questions about our New Well chemical line, please visit our website at johnsonscreens.com. Additionally, we recommend you check out Chemical Cleaning, Disinfection, Decontamination of Water Wells by John Schneiders and published by Johnson Screens. This book is a great resource for everything related to well cleaning. You can find links to our book, our website, and other documents in the description box below.